Do aliens exist? Are they already here? Why is 95% of the universe invisible to us? How many dimensions does our world have? How did life emerge on Earth? Did it arise spontaneously or was it brought here from somewhere else perhaps? What is consciousness? What is time? The universe is vast and mysterious and scientists have been studying it for centuries to unravel its secrets. And yet we have an incredibly long way to go because we actually understand very little about the universe. Let's explore some of the greatest unsolved cosmic mysteries that keep scientists awake at night. The first cosmic mystery is that of dark matter and dark energy. When we look out at the night sky, we see stars and galaxies and nebulas and pulsars and quasars. It's a bright, glittering, colorful universe. And yet the truth is that everything we see out there is just 5% of the universe. 95% of the universe is dark. Dark matter is a type of matter that does not interact with light or any other form of electromagnetic radiation. It only interacts with gravity, so it can be detected by its gravitational effects. Dark matter makes up about 25% of the universe and it's responsible for holding galaxies and galaxy clusters together. Dark energy is a type of energy that causes space to expand faster over time. It acts like a repulsive force that counteracts gravity, so it can be detected by its influence on the expansion rate of the universe. Dark energy makes up about 70% of the universe and it is responsible for accelerating the expansion of the universe. Physicists do not know what dark matter and dark energy are made of or why they even exist. They have proposed several possible models of what could explain them, but none of them has been conclusively verified or even falsified yet. So 95% of the universe is dark, which tells us that our understanding of physics is extremely limited to say the least. The second great cosmic mystery is quantum mechanics. Quantum theory is the most accurate and successful theory in all of physics. The technologies of the modern world would not exist without quantum mechanics. Telecommunications, fiber optics, semiconductors, computers, mobile phones, these would not exist had we not discovered quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is a mathematical theory that describes how ultra microscopic subatomic particles behave, but it also has some strange and counterintuitive implications. For instance, quantum mechanics implies that particles can exist in superpositions of two or more states until they are measured. Particles can be entangled with each other, meaning that their properties are correlated even when they are far apart. Particles can tunnel through barriers that classical physics would forbid them to cross. And there's an inherent uncertainty in measuring both the position and momentum of a particle simultaneously. These phenomena challenge our common sense and raise questions about the nature of reality, causality, locality, determinism, etc. Physicists have tried to solve these problems by proposing different interpretations of quantum mechanics, such as the Copenhagen interpretation, the many worlds interpretation, Bohmian mechanics, etc. However, none of these interpretations has been universally accepted or experimentally verified yet. So we still don't know what quantum mechanics really means and how it really works. It's still a huge, gigantic mystery. Understanding it better could help us uncover the secrets of other mysteries such as dark matter and dark energy. The third great mystery is gravitation. The force that makes apples fall from trees, the moon go around the earth and planets go around stars. General relativity is our best theory of gravity. It says that we live in a four dimensional universe with three dimensions of space and one dimension of time, which make up the four dimensional fabric of space time. General relativity says that the presence of mass curves the fabric of space time and that the curvature of space time tells mass how to move. It's an extremely successful and well-tested theory, but it does not work well with quantum mechanics, which is our best theory of matter and energy. Quantum mechanics assumes that 
time is absolute and space is smooth, while general relativity assumes that time is relative and space is curved. These two assumptions clash at very high energies and very small distances, such as near black holes or at the origin of the universe. Physicists have tried to solve this problem by proposing various theories of quantum gravity, such as string theory, loop quantum gravity, etc. However, none of these theories has been experimentally tested or confirmed yet. The main challenge is that we need extremely high energies or very precise measurements to observe quantum gravitational effects and experimental physics is nowhere near such capabilities yet. The next great mystery is finding the long sought after grand unified theory. It's about finding a theory that can explain how all the four fundamental forces of nature are related. It's about unifying the forces of nature into a single framework. The four fundamental forces are firstly gravitation. This is the force that attracts any two objects with mass. It's described by Einstein's general relativity which treats gravity as a result of curved space-time. Second, the electromagnetic force. This is the force that acts between electrically charged or magnetic objects. It's described by Maxwell's equations which unify electricity and magnetism into a single phenomenon. Third, the strong nuclear force. This is the force that binds protons and neutrons together in atomic nuclei. It is described by quantum chromodynamics, QCD, which involves interactions between quarks and gluons. And fourth, the weak nuclear force. This is the force that causes radioactive decay and nuclear fusion. It's described by quantum electrodynamics, QED, which involves interactions between electrons, neutrinos, photons, and W and Z bosons. Physicists have been trying to find a theory that can unify all these forces into one single framework. Such a theory would be able to explain all physical phenomena at any scale or energy level. However, there are many challenges and difficulties in achieving this goal. For example, there is a mismatch between general relativity and quantum mechanics which are incompatible at very high energies or very small distances. There is no experimental evidence for any unified theory beyond the standard model of particle physics, which only unifies electromagnetic and weak forces. There are many possible candidates for unified theories, such as grand unified theories, guts, supersymmetry, SUSY, string theory, loop quantum gravity, etc. But none of them has been conclusively verified or even falsified yet. So big mystery. The greatest physicists of the 20th and 21st centuries have worked really hard on this and failed thus far. The next great mystery is matter-antimatter asymmetry, also called the baryon asymmetry problem. Why is there so much more matter than antimatter in the universe? Matter and antimatter are types of particles that have opposite properties such as electric charge. When matter and antimatter meet, they annihilate each other and produce pure energy. According to physics theories, matter and antimatter should have been created in equal amounts during the Big Bang, which is the event that started the universe about 13.8 billion years ago. However, we observe that almost everything we see in the universe today is made of matter not antimatter. We are made of matter. Everything around here is made up of matter. This means that somehow there was a slight imbalance between matter and antimatter in the early universe and that resulted in more matter surviving until today than antimatter. Physicists do not know exactly how this imbalance occurred or what caused it. They have proposed several possible mechanisms that could explain it, such as CP violation, baryogenesis, and leptogenesis. These are just some examples of possible solutions to the problem. More exotic solutions have also been proposed, such as the possibility that the Big Bang was a symmetric binary event that gave rise to two parallel twin universes. Matter dominates in one and antimatter dominates in the other. This, however, is a non-falsifiable theory and so it does not really fall with within the realm of science. The next great cosmic mystery is the dimensionality of the universe. How many dimensions does the universe have? We experience the world around us in three dimensions, length, breadth, and height. 
We also experience something vague that we call time, the passage of time. General relativity unifies all of that into the four-dimensional fabric of space-time. Kaluza Klein theory tries to describe the universe in five dimensions. Superstring theory requires the universe to have ten dimensions. M theory has eleven-dimensional space-time, and bosonic string theory has twenty-six-dimensional space-time. Now, no extra dimension beyond four has ever been detected thus far in experiments. And now, a new theory has been proposed by the Indian-American scientist Dr. Subhash Kak, which proposes. Proposes that the universe may actually be e-dimensional. E is called Euler's number, and it's approximately equal to 2.7183. It's an irrational number. Can you even imagine that the universe may not be three-dimensional or four-dimensional? It may be 2.7183 dimensional. <laughs> That is a mind-bending thought, but the theory does throw new light on the nature of gravitation and the open questions of dark matter, dark energy, and the Hubble tension. So this is a great cosmic mystery. How many dimensions does the universe have? We have several strong theories, but we still don't have the answer. The next great mystery is the origin of life. How did life emerge on Earth? Did it arise spontaneously, or was it? Seeded from somewhere beyond, our solar system was born about 4.6 billion years ago out of a cloud of gas and dust that arose from the explosive deaths of an earlier star. The Earth, our home planet, was formed about 4.5 billion years ago, and it was originally a hellishly hot planet with a toxic atmosphere. Then something miraculous. Happened. RNA, ribonucleic acid, appeared and hitched a ride inside lipid membranes. This was the emergence of the first life in the form of unicellular organisms, some 3.77 billion years ago. RNA was eventually replaced by DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, as the genetic blueprint of life. Where did RNA and DNA originate? Where did they come from? Did they appear spontaneously on our planet via a process called abiogenesis, or did they originate somewhere else? This is a big open question. We do find that some meteorites that fall to Earth contain organic compounds, including amino acids, which are the building blocks of protein and therefore of life. This raises the question of what else could space rocks be carrying within them? Could RNA and DNA also have come? From space rocks, there is a hypothesis called panspermia, which states that life could exist throughout the universe and may be distributed by space dust and asteroids and comets, as well as human-made or even alien spacecraft carrying unintended contamination by microorganisms. Now, there is no evidence of this at all thus far, but the possibility cannot be ruled out entirely. So, we still don't know how life arose. On Earth, the next big question is: Are we alone in the universe? Do aliens exist? Are they perhaps already here? Think about it. There are a hundred billion stars in our home galaxy, the Milky Way, and there are roughly a hundred billion galaxies in the observable universe. Multiplying these numbers together gives us ten raised to twenty-two stars in the observable universe. That's one followed by twenty-two zeros. That's an incredibly enormous number. There are more stars in the observable universe than there are grains of sand in all the beaches on Earth. It is therefore statistically very unlikely that the Earth is the only planet that harbors life in the universe. The universe may actually be teeming with life, and some of it may even be intelligent life, perhaps comparable to human intelligence, and some of it may be way more intelligent. Than us, and we have telescopes and detectors working day and night, observing the universe, and this has been happening for over a century. We have thus far discovered nothing, not a single shred of hard, undeniable scientific observational evidence of alien life. So, where are all the aliens? 
where is everybody this is called the fermi paradox and we don't have the foggiest idea we don't have any answers social media is full of grainy ufo videos and such some of it is even something that's released by governments but none of that represents conclusive evidence we still don't have the answer to whether we are alone in the universe the next big question is what is consciousness each one of us is individually conscious. We know that. Animals are conscious. Cats, dogs, horses, monkeys, tigers, and so on. We recognize consciousness the moment we see it. Consciousness is indeed a thing. It does indeed exist. No one can deny this fact. And yet science does not even have a definition of what consciousness is. So consciousness is something that does exist, but can't even be defined by science huge mystery and then there's the question of degrees of consciousness is a dog's consciousness the same as human consciousness is an elephant's consciousness the same as human consciousness what about cats squirrels ants even microorganisms and bacteria are aware of their environments and take active measures to seek nutrition and protect themselves from predators how conscious are they is consciousness an emergent physical property? Does it emerge out of complexity? The more complex a system, the more conscious it is. There's even the question of whether consciousness permeates the entire universe and that the universe itself may be conscious on a cosmic scale. The mystery of consciousness is even more relevant today with the emergence of AI, artificial intelligence. Can machines be conscious? Can AI be conscious? Is it already conscious? We don't have the answers thus far. The next great cosmic mystery is the fate, the ultimate fate of the universe. What's going to be the ultimate fate? of the universe. Will there be a big freeze or a big rip or a big crunch followed by a new Big Bang? Current scientific understanding suggests that the universe will continue to expand indefinitely and that this expansion will accelerate due to the influence of dark energy. There are several possible scenarios for the future of the universe depending on the amount and nature of the matter and energy it contains. One possibility is the Big Freeze, also known as the heat death of the universe in which the universe continues to expand and eventually all matter becomes so widely dispersed that it can no longer interact leading to a state of maximum entropy and heat death another possibility is the big crunch in which the universe eventually stops expanding and collapses back upon itself possibly leading to a new big bang and the formation of a new universe there are also other more exotic scenarios such as the possibility of a big rip in which the expansion of the universe accelerates so rapidly that it eventually tears apart all matter including atoms and even subatomic particles the last great mystery for today is the mystery of time. We are vaguely aware of something called time. We perceive its passage. It's the fourth dimension in general relativity. It's an external classical parameter in quantum mechanics. It seems to flow only in one direction. We can't slow it down. We can't stop it. We can't reverse it. We can't jump back and forth in time. We can't travel in time. We don't know its origin. We don't know its true nature. When did time begin? How did time begin? Why did time begin? Is time an emergent property? Something that emerges out of the chaos and complexity of the quantum realm? Are there atoms and molecules of time? Is time an illusion? Are the boundaries between past, present and future just illusions? Or is time something that's external? to the universe we inhabit. The greatest minds of the 20th and 21st centuries have wrestled with these questions and agonized over them, and we still don't have the answers. The fundamental nature of time may be the greatest cosmic mystery of all. In conclusion, we have explored some, a few, of the greatest mysteries of the cosmos. And while we have indeed made significant strides in understanding our universe, there is still much to uncover. And it's possible that we may never fully understand all the mysteries of the universe. It's possible that we are simply not intelligent enough as a species to get to the bottom of these mysteries. Yet, even so, the pursuit of knowledge 
is its own reward. We should continue to push the boundaries of what we know and keep searching for answers to the unknown. Who knows what new discoveries and insights we will uncover in the future as we continue to explore the cosmos. Thank you for watching.